And going from inspired action to the other topic I would like to talk about, which is when to pull us back in satisfaction when something doesn't go right. Okay, so when something's not going the way we would like it to go, when we did something and later you're like, oh, yeah, no, maybe not, maybe shouldn't have done it that way, or, or something just, you know, escalated or whatever, things went sour, <laughs> didn't go right, didn't go the way you wanted it. Don't beat yourself up about it, first of all. You know, be nice with yourself. Um, treat yourself like your own best friend, you know. Would you put your friend down and say, oh, you idiot, you stupid, you should have done it. No, you'll be more supportive and more encouraging. So don't beat yourself up, you know. Just take off, sweep up the dust and say, you did a good job. You, at least you tried or you did your best or whatever, you know. Just take the lesson, whatever lesson you can take from it and move on you know use whatever information that you gained from that situation and put it to good use for the next you know so <clears throat> so don't linger a long time over oh but i should have done it this way or should have done it that way don't cry over spilled milk too long <laughs> you know and definitely don't beat yourself up i mean just take the lesson correct and continue, correct and continue, correct and continue. <laughs> That's it. You know, you can press the reset button at any time. Nobody's holding you back. And you gotta give yourself some credit for trying things, for doing things, for being, stepping into that fear and doing it anyway, you know, doesn't matter. So next time something doesn't go the way you would have liked it to have gone, or, you know, if it wasn't a success, still a success because you learn something from it, you know, and you can use that in the next uh, chapter. So be grateful for that experience and just keep moving. This is how we learn to walk, you know. A child doesn't go all like, oh, and it falls down. Yeah, I might cry for a second. And then before you know it, the child is back up, the little baby is already walking, you know, going through, and they fall again, and they stand up again, and fall. And, <laughs> and we go back and forth like that. And that's what makes it fun, you know? Let's have some lightness about things, make it more fun. Don't judge yourself, don't criticize yourself. Just uh, keep praising yourself for at least being, you know, uh, courageous enough to keep going, you know, no matter what's happening or what's going on. <laughs> okay, I hope this helps you. Um, so cheer up. Keep going, don't give up, you can do it. And, oh yeah, another thing I wanted to say, oftentimes, you know, when we procrastinate things out of fear that it's gonna fail or it's not gonna be good, it's that inner critical voice. Well, I've made a video about that. If you go to my YouTube on my channel, you can find it um, about the inner critic. And I've heard some, some people say about procrastination. Um, in fact, it was somebody uh, I don't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned once that if you procrastinate, it's because you're not ready to do something. So, okay, you know, if you feel that you're having pro been procrastinating for a long time, perhaps you weren't ready to do something. But then you can always, you, you can, you can, you can prolong that for a very long time. You know, in a way, maybe you're never ready. Um, and that's not bad. It's also okay. I mean, sometimes, you know, that's how it is. But if you want to give you a little, yourself a little kick, then, you know, watch my video about the warrior. That gives you uh, some inspiration, some spark to, to step into that fear, walk through it, no matter how it feels, how yucky it feels. Just pull through and that video gives an idea how you can do that. Okay, so it's about the four archetypes of the warrior. Just some ideas. All right, guys. Uh, if you're watching this from YouTube, uh, your subscribe is much appreciated, as is your like, if you like it, obviously. <laughs> and I love you guys. See you the next. Okay. Big kiss. Bye. I keep a photograph in which we were in love, Kyle.
in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise.